for well, that? Well, let's start with Renet Investments, which was also created in, what well, was created rather, in 2008. That was with the unbundling of the Remgro Richemont BAT Group. Exactly. So remember, that's the seminal event for all of those Rupert family companies. So Renet, which is named after Graf Renet, comes out. It's an offshore entity listed here in our market. Mm -hmm. Effectively, it is a core investment is a big chunk of British America tobacco shares. I think it's about 4 or 5% of British America Tobacco and it has a fee structure internally there where a Rupert linked investment company extracts a 1% of NAV and a 10% of performance above a benchmark. I guess the real question is, is this going to be another vehicle for another investment stroke of genius of which we've become familiar with the Rupert family? Market cap 51.2 billion rand and a price to earnings ratio of 6.5 currently pays no dividends. Lance, this is the heavyweight that yes. we're talking about yes. here. So the, the question is, and your point is, is good, 73% BAT, pension corporation, mainly the balance, some other private equity type investments. Mm -hmm. Should you pay that management fee for essentially three quarters of BAT and a quarter of the rest? So I don't think so, because if you actually infer the management fee on the quarter that's not BAT, it's hell of a high in my mm -hmm. opinion. You could times it by four if you do the maths, because you can go into BAT yourself directly. And I think that's why you see it trades at quite a significant discount to its underlying NAV is a reflection of that. Mm. Um, so I think because of that, I think it's quite a steep fee to get into, into uh, Renit. Maybe you say the discount then is the pro quid pro quo, and you're really then taking a view on will it be the next investment as you say a master stroke in, do you, in that do you group. agree with Lance that this is a steep fee as as an entry point mm. when you have got other options I do and I've been a bit skeptical also of British maker tobacco as you know I think the reason they've held it is because skeptical. it's done well mind everybody you took a short position yeah in it. it hasn't done as well in the UK but it is perceived as one of those emerging market success growth stories so I think the board of Renet and the investment advisor have said you know what we're doing well but I think it has run out of a bit of road. You can see British American Tobacco sort of idling at around 30 pounds a share. So that's a concern for me. And, you know, what they've done so far certainly doesn't constitute any kind of groundbreaking investment genius. In the past, the Rupert's... You Rupert's mean they're not doing it any better than you? Well, in the past, the Rupert's built British American Tobacco, which is a masterstroke. They invested early in the technology space in Vodacom and Vodafone and did brilliantly there and they've invested in the luxury goods business and built Richmond so I think people are saying look they're going to take this entity and do something truly amazing to date we haven't seen anything truly amazing what we've seen is truly amazing fees and for me that's a problem let's have a look at the the share price uh, graph here Lance do you want to weigh in uh, you, you know, you, you, it's a reflection of BAT if you mm. look at that share price. And um, there is a big rand hedge element in mm. this because BAT is principally a, a global company. And you see that rand weakness or, or dollar strength in that. Um, it depends where their markets are, but overall it is, it is a foreign currency play and BAT. So really, it's a, if, you, if you put BAT up there, I don't think it would be that different than the share price graph. And as per your argument, rather don't pay the fees, go direct. Yeah. That, that's yeah. so that I think we've said what we need to say here. The assets that they've got on board are interesting. You know, the pension corporation and some private insure equity things in Renshaw and so on. Mates of Yuan's probably golfing buddies of his that he thinks have got good ideas or interesting businesses. Investment banking guys setting up new businesses. He's taken a bit of a stab at some U.S residential mortgage turnaround mm -hmm. play but nothing of any significant scale is there anything that stands out for you Lance no there isn't the only thing I think you could say is if they did find something they could sell those British American tobacco shares in a jiffy and then direct all of the funds into something really exciting so there's a bit of optionality there but for me definitely uh, hot, not, hot. not hot not hot not, not hot, hot. Global asset price is very high, no bargains, so I, I, I doubt they'll be able to find that, so n not hot. 